Hey, so I am coming to you guys from North Dakota. A lot of people ask me, you know, what am I doing out here? And I've been out here for two years, uh, working in mental health, out here with my family. You know, me and my husband have two little boys, four and five. So we just wanted to let you guys uh, be able to. So we're making bison burgers today. And I know they're not regular ground beef, right, babe? What are you putting in them? What are you putting in them? Somebody the bison? Yeah. Uh, putting on um, townhouse pretzel crackers. Pretzel crackers, okay. Uh, You're brown. Salt, pepper. Yeah. Little garlic, onion seasoning. Your meatloaf is usually good, so, okay. Seasonings, okay. Little onions in there. Fresh onions. Yeah, that's all, man. Mm hmm. What else? right now okay so this is good so I'll be able to really taste the bison and it's not like it's gonna be overpowered Overpower. with some other seasonings and we can really you know taste what the bison tastes like right mm -hmm. okay <sighs> it's exciting mm -hmm. So we had the bison tonight. It was delicious. Okay. And so for anyone who wants to try it, I say, you know, eat some as soon as you can because I'm going to have some more later this week. We ate it all up. I mean, it was just really hearty tasting. I don't know how to describe it, but I know it's definitely leaner than regular ground beef. It had a nice flavor to it. It was really good. And so... You know, I'm all about my food. Um, I'll probably do some cooking episodes on here and I'll probably show some cooking with my kids. And math is our next challenge too, just to make sure that they're up to date on everything. So that's one thing about North Dakota. We do have the option to homeschool. So we've really been considering that for first grade homeschooling our oldest child instead of letting him go to school because he's been doing well he's been doing well so today we actually got him some more books and I think they enjoy time at home with us but the next thing would be to get him into more extracurricular activities so he says he wants to do baseball we might look at a baseball program for him maybe even basketball or even karate know my little brother did karate and so just to make a plan for that. I've been working in the mental health field for about eight years now. It's challenging. It will always be a challenge, you know, just trying to find ways to help people, support them when they're struggling and going through crisis situations. And so, especially for the staff, we have to remember to always self-care, right? And so, I have to remind myself to do that and to um, take care of home as well, you know. So we have to be our best selves so that we can go into work and take care of our patients. So I want to stress that. So that's what I'll be talking about a lot, mental health issues. Um, I know it's a, a tough discussion to have, especially right now with all the different situations that we have going on. And so we've been enjoying some nice days out here. You know, it never gets too hot up here, but the cold winter is coming. Can't wait to show you guys what that's like with all the snow. And yeah, you'll probably be uh, streaming.
streaming from my kitchen sometimes also like i said we're gonna be doing you guys can see more of me doing that on here showcasing my talents i'm singing and i'll make it fun for you guys and all of you back in georgia new york this is ayana coming from 